is Emma Dutton. Um, I have got a title that I use for training, which is Emma Dutton TMIET, and that just means Technical uh, Member of the Institute of Engineering and Technology, and I do quite like that title. So I make sure that we um, go out in, a, in the van to assist the wholesalers to sell our products. So I'll give the wholesalers training instructions on how to, not how to sell, but kind of the key features of the product to make us stand out more than other, other manufacturers. Offer installers training on site, either at the wholesalers or they'll come in the van and have a look at all the products that we've got and just kind of just do a bit of a technical talk really to give them more knowledge so that they know what they're buying and know what they're installing and just enable them to be able to yeah install, install better really. so for the training ideally we want them to be we want them to be electrically trained anyway either on the journey towards be, being a renewables installer already have installed renewables when they come, we ask them to bring their own tools, so that kind of gives us an idea of what their tools they're using, if they're using the right tools, maybe test equipment. Um, and then we'll give them a brief overview of the products, our key features, tips on how to install. So, for example, when we were doing the 5.8, kind of to show the guys that when it's, in, when it's on the wall, it's a little bit more awkward because there's not much space. So to kind of demonstrate that how to wire it off the wall and give them them tips to make it easy while they're installing on site. Once they've done the hands-on training, then they'll get a certificate. What Solax are going to do is make that certificate valid for two years. So then that's going to encourage them to keep coming back, keep updating their knowledge so that they become better installers. And then it kind of reduces the faults that we get on here in the office. So I was, um, I was working for uh, an installation company before. I did enjoy working there, I kind of applied. I came in before I accepted the job just to have a look around to make sure that it was right for me. And everybody was so friendly, helpful, chatter. So I just thought, yeah, I'll, I'll jump right in. But first I was the, uh, upstairs in the technical room answering the phones to the guys on site. And then so that said that they saw the potential in me and offered me the training job. So yeah, here I am. So yes, it is. Uh, it is very male dominated. For me, I kind of I don't put myself in the male. I kind of just see myself. I'd say I'm a bird, and I'm just I'm just an engineer at the end of the day, and I'm here to do my job. If that's me being a woman, or if I was a bloke, I don't see that being any different. It is hard work. It, it is really hard work. Not just being a woman in a man's role, but physically doing the solar panels, the battery storage, the inverters, it's heavy lifting work, it's long hours, working away from home. Um, but with Solax, I'm here in the office, I'm out on the road, they support me as much as I need. Um, and again, because I've got a background in renewables, they kind of trust me to let me do what I need to do to make the training better, really. Research, get as much free training as you can there's lots of things out there on the internet now but make sure that you're subscribing to proper channels you need to be yeah, subscribing to a manufacturer like Solax um, and again jump on jump on any of those courses there's a lot of taster courses out there because not every electrician wants to be on a roof doing solar panels not every electrician wants to be messing around with DC power so again yeah do your research go and get some free training and then go on a course and Get as much qualifications as you can and as much experience as you can before you think about going out for your work yourself.